All right, so I've, uh, we've cut this board down a little bit, and we've set our next full length board in, and then I've measured from here to here, ends up being 43 and an eighth, and I do the same thing in the mark to here. I'll put the stencil on that we're gonna use. We know it looks good on this side, so it'll work good on the other half. And this board is basically through the center. It's not quite in the center, so I'm just gonna go a little bit off the board. And then let's make sure we're at 43. Okay, and now I'll use our jigsaw to cut that piece out. Okay, now we are ready to install this piece. Uh, I like to line it up here. So I start in here, kind of put in the track, pull it over, make sure it looks good. And look, that's all it needed to see. Okay, we're down to our last row, and the width is less than the width of a full board. And you need to make sure uh, well, you'll need to measure multiple points throughout it because it's probably not the same distance. So just to show here, all the way to the drywall, where and to the top here, it's uh, five and seven eighths. But then when you come to the full length, our board is going to be it's six and an eighth. So that's a quarter inch difference over four feet. That you're going to have to make sure that you account for, and you don't want too big of a gap uh, underneath the trim. Okay, so now we've made the mark on each side and then drew our line and we'll go through the table saw and I won't be able to use the fence uh, because it's not a straight line with the board. So we'll need to get the fence out of the way. Make sure you have your ears and eyes protected. So if you're looking at a table saw, uh, I totally recommend getting the Milwaukee M18 fuel uh, table saw. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video. They're not paying me to say that. It's just a great saw, super portable, super lightweight. I don't have all the specs on me, but I think it's like 40 pounds or something. And it just, it just rips through the material. Okay, so now we're ready to put our last uh, board in for this row. Get it in the right spot. And then we'll have to use, this one won't work anymore because it can't reach and you won't be able to hammer it. So instead there's this tool. If you're going on a piece that's on the, that's not up against the wall of the oven cut, make sure to not go on the lower lip. You need to stay on the upper lip. You don't want to ruin that lower lip. But on this side, it doesn't matter because the whole thing's been cut off anyway. Okay, grab your hammer. There you go. That's seated now. Now we just have uh, just one more piece left. Okay, we're on our last board. So let's get it in the position that we want it in. Gotta make sure our angle's not too much and then make sure that the gap is closed. Just set it down. If you can, try and maintain pressure this way to keep that gap closed. Let's see, there's a little bit of a gap there. Okay, Let's see about that. Oh, we're not quite. Okay, now you can see that this is up a little bit this way. I'm just going to lift the whole board up. And then just slide it just a hair to the left. And then we'll come back to the right spot. And that should. Let me put my. You 
protection back in. Okay, uh, it's time to take out the shims, which in our case are screws. Okay, now we're going to install the uh, T-mold as our threshold here, and that's going to in between the hardwood and our laminate that we just laid down. It'll come with this metal bracket that you'll install first before you start with any of the flooring. And then just to give you a view of what it looks like underneath, this part, after we cut it, will snap in down here and will hold it on. So uh, when we install it, we're gonna to make sure that we cut out from the T-mold this corner here so that it'll lay flush here and flush here. And we'll do that on both sides of this doorway. So let's take some measurements for that and then we'll install that. Okay, so now that we have it fitting uh, this entire distance, we need to measure to cut this out. The simplest way is just to uh, push it as far up as close as possible here and then make your mark on how much you need to cut it off. This gives you this way distance and then it's gonna go right up to this metal. So we're just gonna cut off this entire thing right here, all the way to here. That's where we'll cut it. Is that much off that side? Then on this side, cut it off right there. Okay, this should just push right in now once it's in the right spot. Just like you're at a chiropractor and you're the chiropractor. If you want to tap it a little bit, more than welcome you can, but there we go. We've, we've finished the bathroom. Bathrooms often take longer than other rooms because you have penetrations coming through the floor and it's such a small space that you're making cuts on like every other board. Um, bigger rooms that you're in, you can run longer spans and it seems like the project goes faster. So if you can tackle a bathroom, you can tackle anything. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can hear um, more great content and be entertained.